Hi Curly World and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about porosity, what it is, what it means, how to know what porosity you are, and what products you should use. So porosity is basically how your hair receives, retains, and releases moisture. So if you can think of like a palm tree, the branch of the palm tree, it, it kind of is open like this. And that's pretty much what each strand of hair looks like. You have your shaft, but there's openings. So low porosity, the openings are very tight. They're almost not open at all. So what happens is it's hard for moisture to seep into the hair and really get in there and moisturize your hair. Normal porosity, I would say, again, think of a, of a palm tree where it does have openings, but it's still kind of tightly wound, but it's, it's not as tight as low porosity. And then high porosity is really open. The cuticle, the cuticles on the shaft are really, really open. So that means that moisture goes right into the hair and then slips right out. So that's the issue. So low porosity has a hard time getting moisture in. Once it's in and gets penetrated, you can seal it with an oil and the moisture will stay in. I have low porosity, so um, sometimes when you like put your head under the shower, your hair doesn't get saturated right away, which is good for pool <laughs> chlorine because if my hair is already saturated, it's not going to soak in the chlorine as much, right? <clears throat> when your hair is normal porosity, it basically will receive water and maintain it for a good while and then it will lose it at a steady stream. So you do need to maintain some moisture but it, it will hold on to it better. For high porosity, the shaft is open so the, the moisture goes right in but it goes right out too. So it's hard for high porosity hair to hold the moisture. So that means high porosity hair, it needs butters, oils, thicker um, moisturizing agents to kind of get into those holes and stay there. Normal porosity can use that anywhere in between. They're pretty, because they're normal, they can use pretty much whatever they want. And then low porosity, you need light, 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 lightweight hydrators and moisturizers because liquids will penetrate through those tightly wound cuticles better than any butters. Um, all three hair does need to be sealed with an oil so that it does maintain the moisture it has. But you want to be careful with butters if your hair has low porosity. Which brings us to the subject of protein. So what happens is with protein, protein goes in and seals those little gaps, right? So for high porosity, it has lots of gaps. Protein goes in, seals the gaps make sure the, mo the moisture stays in and it makes the hair smoother, more hydrated, more strong. Normal porosity needs protein at times, not an excess, and low porosity does not like protein because it's already tightly wound. Protein will go in there and make the hair hard, straighten out the curl a little bit because it'll be stiff. So it does need protein at times, but a lot less than a high porosity. I hope that all makes sense. Um, should you check right after shampooing and conditioning? Yes. The porosity test should be done on clean, dry hair. So, wash and shampoo, come out the shower, you can take a piece of hair, let it dry, and then do the test. If your hair has product on it, it's not going to give you a true read. If your hair is wet, it is not going to give you a true read. So, shampoo, condition, make sure your hair is dry, let it sit with no product on it, and then do the test. So if it sinks down to the bottom of the water glass, it's high porosity. So it absorbed all that water, got super heavy, and sank. That's why it's on the bottom. Normal porosity will absorb a little bit of water, so it will go in, but not enough to make it heavy and fall. So normal will be right in the middle, and then Low porosity, because it's so densely wound, it will sit on top of the water or stay like right under that water line because it can't 
pull the moisture in the way other hair can. So that is the basic description of porosity. So for low porosity hair, using a moisture mask that has protein in it is sufficient for a protein treatment every eight weeks, eight to nine. For normal hair, you can use, again, moisture masks that have protein in it. You probably could even do a protein shot, let's say every six weeks or so. And then high porosity hair, you can use products with, with, with protein, masks with protein, probably I would say every month. Um, here's my caution though. If you're high porosity, that doesn't mean that everything you use should have protein. I've experienced a line where every product from shampoo to conditioner to leave-in to custard to gel, to everything had protein. And I was just putting it on as well as other even high porosity girls were using the same line and their hair just either fell out or got so straight that it just couldn't handle all that protein so what I'm telling you is it's good to have protein in your in your conditioner or your mask if you're high porosity but be careful of stylers that have a high protein count because you can overdo it if you think your hair is high to normal porosity, if you're overdoing the, pr the protein, you will actually then have low porosity hair. I've seen it because, yes, your porosity can change. What changes porosity? Hair color. So my hair was not low porosity before, so I don't know why hair color made it low, but it did. Um, heat damage can change your porosity. As your hair gets healthier, your porosity can change. So yes, you can the porosity can change. You're not stuck with that one um, porosity for the rest of your life. So just be aware of changes that happen to your hair. If you notice that your hair gets hard, stringy, straight, or you have uh, little pieces that will stay straight. Like, you see how this, I see that one hair right there. So, if you have gray hairs like I do, they tend to be straighter than your rest of your hair. So if your stylers have uh, protein, those gray hairs will go straight immediately. Just like that one. I, I can't even pick it out, but it's it's there. And then you'll start to see that first. These are little indicators. And then all of a sudden your curls will be a little stretched. And then you'll start to feel hardness. So be aware of what's going on in your hair so that you can know what products to use, how much protein to use, and how to deal with your specific porosity. Uh, in my opinion, porosity is probably the most important thing for you to know because then it will dictate what products you use. Knowing your curl pattern or type, it's a very good start on your journey, but it doesn't really change much. To be honest with you, you can have a 2C wavy curl, but you're low porosity, but have a thick density of hair. You might be able to use the same thing that a 4C finer hair, low porosity person is using. So curl type isn't always an indicator of what product to use, but it's good to know. It's not that serious because as you can see up here, my hair today it looks wavy it's almost like a 3a but then if you look like inside right here I have tighter curls that are like 3c this all in here is 3a 3c 3b it's everything so it doesn't really matter your type what's important is how dense is your hair is the thickness of each strand super super thin then you're gonna need lighter weight products. If you look at a quarter inch of scalp, do you have a lot of hair? As you can see, you can see my scalp here. If I just do this, you can easily see my scalp. So I don't have a lot of hair and the density of each strand is thin. So I need lightweight products. And then being low porosity, everything I need is light, 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 light. When I receive, if I receive, let's say someone sends me a, a cream 
to to review I don't I have I don't get a whole lot but I'm like as a shea ambassador sometimes we get a box and um, if it's something that's heavier I will water it down so that doesn't mean you can't use it I personally would not purchase a cream but let's say I did receive it or let's say somebody let's say you're away you forgot you're leaving you're at someone's house they have a cream so put a small amount in your palm and then fill your palm with water and dilute it so as long as you can dilute it you're still okay when it comes to oils lighter weight oils are better for low porosity hair you all know I love my righteous roots and that's because even though it's an 11 oil blend it's almost like a dry oil it's I don't know how they do it but it's not greasy so I can put it in my hair and it won't weigh my hair down I do use it on dry hair to seal not on wet hair so that it doesn't weigh it down but as you can see the shine that it gives is great and my hair doesn't feel greasy at all like I can put it on and then just go get dressed and I don't have to worry about washing my hands so that is my porosity chat I hope that made sense if you have any questions let me know